hi guys welcome back to my channel i'll be sharing with you the most important things you need for your nyc three weeks in camp and other things you don't need to bring into camp because they are not allowed but before we dive in guys my name is nene amenike please do also like comment share and please subscribe thank you guys the first thing is to make sure that all your documents are complete when i mean all your documents are complete guys i'm going to be sharing the documents you need to bring with you in camp now the first thing is your call up letter make sure that you have your call up letter the original copy so once you get your call up letter please do well to print it out and then photocopy five of them then you're going to get your green slip the original copy and five photocopies these are from your nyc uh, portal and also from your ny when you're trying to install for nyc at all so make sure you get them and then from the school your school make sure you get your school id card the original and at least five photocopies your statement of results the original and at least five photocopies all your school certificates the original and five photocopies then make sure you get your passport photograph on white background eight copies and for our medical students graduates <laughs> make sure you get your medical ecms your license and photocopies and also your medical fitness this medical fitness is for everyone make sure you get the original and five photocopies so we're done with the most important documents you need for your nyc camp now if you have a request letter maybe from the company you're working with currently or the company you want to work with make sure you get the original request letter and also at least five photocopies and then make sure you have your nin sorry not your nin your bvn because you use it to register for the bank you want to allow it to be in not you if they want to allow it <laughs> to be entered in so we're done with that we're going to go with the clothes you need for your nysc three weeks in camp you you are going to get your white polos make sure you go with plenty when i mean plenty i mean from four six and above they give you two um, white polos in camp but most times they slack and all of that they also give you two knickers in camp but they are so transparent so i don't think anyone would want to wear that or if you wear them that's fine if you're okay with that that's fine so make sure you go with your white polos that are very easy to wash and dry and also your white knickers that are also easy to wash and dry make sure you go with at least four you know because you might be going during the rainy season or the cold season and all of that so you just have to be careful then also get your socks please the socks are going to just be plain white socks of nyc logos on them and all they don't allow that and then for your underwears please go with plain white underwears white singlet or white boxers or white um panties or you go with black but please don't go with what's colored then you go with your white sneakers these white sneakers i'm talking about should just be rubber sneakers trust me you don't need leather you don't need um, any other kind of sneakers just rubber sneakers that are very very affordable but make sure you go with a size a little bit above your normal shoe size trust me that trust me guys because you always be on the white canvas and everything so you have to you just have to be comfortable so do all to get a size a little bit above your normal shoe size right mm -hmm. you can also go with your church wears they allow that in my camp they allow it church wears for the muslim brothers and sisters you can go with your mat wears fine and then you can go you can also go with the traditional outfits for your cultural day but sometimes they don't in my own camp we had we had to pay to get our wrappers for our traditional day our cultural day but you can still go with yours just in case if you want to be all this uh, if you want to be lolo or igwe you want to help your platoon with something you can always go with your own outfit but they all have it there in mommy market where you can always go and rent you can right. also go with a jeans trouser just in case you need it for anything in camp 
right? Put everything in the box to pack all your things and all of that. So let's talk about other things you need for your NYC three weeks in camp. You're going to need a permanent marker. Why? Because you're going to write your state code on all your clothes and everything in case they misplace, they will just call out your state code. They, they don't, don't use names in camp. Trust me, they use just your state code and you get it immediately. You're done registering in registering inside camp. You just get your state code. Make sure you write them on all your stuff. Mm -hmm. So guys, before we continue, please do want to check out my camp experience. It's up on my channel. You're going to love it. It's going to also prepare you because I made sure I started from when you wake up in camp to when you sleep in camp. You're going to be able to see all those things and I just hope you enjoy it, you guys. You're going to enjoy it. Trust me. So let's continue. About the clothing, I forgot to add your towels. Make sure that your towels are the ones that will cover you up very well because most times your toilets and bathrooms are not inside your rooms, like in my own in my own camp. So do also or maybe a wrapper that you use and cover up and cope it. And then also your shower caps for the ladies or for the guys on dreads. And I think we're done with okay, your blankets too. Your blanket very important depends on where you're going to camp or just carry it because you never can tell, right? <laughs> then your bed sheets, you can go with just two bed sheets or maybe one depends on how you wash your bed sheets and your pillowcase. In my own camp, we didn't have uh, pillows, but just go with pillowcase just in case. Yeah, and then also go with a cardigan, a white cardigan. You don't allow any other color but white cardigans. So make sure you go with white cardigans. Mm -hmm. And then, you know that um, waist bag? Yes, make sure you go with your own waist cap bag very important because that's where you'll be keeping your money that's where you're keeping your power banks that's where you're keeping your phones so other things you need are your buckets you can go with two two big buckets medium sized buckets because you will definitely be storing water go with your pillar good hangers for people that have um <laughs> wardrobes in their camp oh. with you i'm just going to list everything at your provisions your body lotion your body your skincare products your sunscreen very important because you'll be outside almost every time your food flask make sure you go with a big food flask very important because they should check the size of food flask <laughs> with your water cans but trust me in my camp they didn't allow water cans on the field so if you can get a uh, bottle water there then that's fine but go with yours in case your camp allows that then go with detergents, wa uh, washing soap, just to help you wash your clothes. Go with your handkerchief or your face towel. Trust me, face towels are better than handkerchiefs if your place is kind of is very hot. Just go with face towels. Trust me. Your hand fan, you can go with the you just go with the plastic hand fan. That's fine. Then mosquito net. Go with your treated mosquito net and your mosquito repellent but in my camp there were no mosquitoes i didn't even use my mosquito net but make sure it's treated before you use yours and go with padlocks i'm going to be sharing with you the kind of padlocks you're going to be going with because if you go with those small, small ones they can always open it and make sure that the money you have with you is always on in your waist bag or and there's also pos in camp but it's expensive the charge is expensive so do want to just plan yourself well. Then your sanitary pads for ladies, slippers inside the hostel is not allowed outside. With little little drugs here and there, we have pharmacies in the camp too. So and it's free. You just go and take your drugs. But most times the protocols are all because I have to get uh, a, this, a prescription from the doctors before you go to the pharmacy. Or you, they also have a chemist shop if a, a chemist shop in mommy market where you can also go buy your drugs from them so it depends on you for me i took panadol i took uh, cough syrup i took antacid because you know <laughs> i'm always having that this is so i took antacid first i took rub don't forget your rub your body keep bam i took that i took my rub inhaler because of uh 
cold at all. Sun shades. Make sure you go with enough with your sun shades. Then make sure you go with your own custard buckets because most times it's public toilet. My own was the public toilet, pit toilet, and I couldn't use it. I had to buy custard buckets. So make sure you get your own custard buckets from home. <laughs> from your own market please don't buy custard buckets in mommy market or or people selling close to the camp because most times they just wash the old ones the ones people have used before they will wash and resell and that's not hygienic guys trust me go with something to be washing your canvas because it can be dirty so go with a brush for your canvas go with your handkerchiefs go with your power banks very important very very important and then also go with a charger that can charge your power bank and you can get another charger to charge your phones really important it's going to help out a lot go with your disposable pants for ladies i'm sorry i'm mixing all up if we don't have disposable pants please don't go with multicolored pants trust me <laughs> don't go with canned foods if you are going with provisions please everything should just be plastic or rubber they don't allow canned foods long and bring sardines inside camp they won't allow you to seize it and then for your cutleries make sure you go with plastic or rubber cutleries yeah so, go with money i think i think that's all though. that's all guys that's all so if you want to go with any other thing you can always go with them if you want to ask me any questions or the comment section please do well and ask and so guys that's it but before i end this video i want to give you a very important tip joining nyc groups is very very important because you get to see information you get to see so many things if you're not in any nyc group please let me know i will be very happy to share those groups with you guys really important that and if you know you've not even registered for nyc you are planning on going for nyc these groups are really really important they're going to help you with everything you need to know about nyc camp your registration even when the portal is open and all of that and another thing please once you see your call up letter on your dashboard or your profile or anywhere on nyc platform please do well to get the original copy print it out and guide it with all your might and heart because if you go back to print it out again it might not just be there for you to print out you might not see any way to print them out so guys i hope i was able to help you out with your nyc prepare preparations and all of that please do well to comment like share and don't forget to subscribe thank you guys and bye bye